Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and you're watching our Home Health Marketing Giveaway video series where we actually share with you guys some great ideas and tips on what you should bring as giveaways to your marketing out there. When you're visiting potential referral sources, when you're trying to get them to talk to you, when you're trying to get them to start referring patients to you. So we tell people that you should always stand out. This is something that you should do in regards to your whole sales process, your presentation, and you should do the same thing when it comes into your giveaways. And a lot of people that market out there have an inner objection of saying, what should I give people? What should I bring? Should I bring a box of donuts? Should I bring a whole bun cake? Should I do lunch and learns? What should I do? What should I give? Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give them pens. I'm going to give them mugs. Guess what? Everybody does everything the same exact way. So what we've done in marketing is we changed the ways on what we do and how we give things. So in this video, we're going to talk about gift boxes. Like, for example, this particular gift box set right here, I use it a lot because I can give it to someone and they are not going to know right away what's in it. People love receiving gifts. People love receiving gifts that are wrapped up. And in this box right here that I use a lot, uh, the link is below. Click there. It's very cheap to purchase. They're like about, I think, 65 cents in average per box, um, depending on the size. But this box right here is around 65, 75 cents to be able to give to people. And the reason why I use this box is I make it, I make the delivery, the presentation look a little bit different. If I am going to give some mugs or some pens, I'm not going to put it in the typical, you know, gift bag with the tissue wrap inside it. You know, I, I do the presentation a little bit better. I want them to be able to receive something that makes it stand out. But in addition, these boxes, I've done it where I'll put, for example, a nice printed t-shirt that I custom made for clients. Um, I'll put the mugs in there. I'll put, you know, some cookies in there. I love to do that a lot. Um, whether, whatever I'm giving, I don't try to do the same exact thing as everybody else. Look, everybody is going to do the, the little gift um, paper bag and put that tissue wrapper in there and put the mug in there, whatever they're giving away. But that's what everybody's doing. And sometimes it's the presentation and how you present things. Same thing with your presentation for your services and your products. If you're doing the same exact thing that everybody else out there is doing, then you're not, you're not really doing anything to differentiate yourself. You're trying to make yourself associated with what other people are doing. And this is one of the biggest dilemmas when it comes to marketing. Can you make yourself original? Can you market yourself in a way where a company says, you know what, that guy or that gal right there is different. I heard something different. They actually thought about me. Okay, so like I said, nothing that you give by itself is what's going to get you a referral. Is if can you position yourself, number one, to stand out. Number two, can you solve the problems? So looking at these gift boxes, and like I said, the link is down below. You should definitely click on it to see how cheap it is. It's going to cost you less than a dollar. And whatever you put on it is going to be able to be more presentable in a way. But in these gift boxes, what else can you put on it? Think about it. What else can you say, hmm, this is a lot nicer than that little, you know, paper gift basket with the handles um, that I bought at the dollar store? Because a lot of those containers you're putting, because you're not just going to hand them over a mug, right? I sure hope you don't just do that. If you are going to use one of those mugs, but I have a video where I talk about what type of mugs you should give and what you should do with it. But that's the thing. What are you going to do? What can you put in these boxes? What else can you create a better presentation? You know, with these boxes, I can put a sticker um, that, that has the logo of my company. But here's a quick technique. Like you're seeing, for example, the, the brown bag right there, the brown box, I'm sorry, or even the red one. I don't buy the black one. Um, and the reason for that is just it's completely different. And if I'm using the black box, if I end up getting that in what I order, I end up just going ahead and putting a nice gift wrapper over it. But what I like to do is I actually created a rubber stamp for the company logo and contact information. 
So what I end up doing, I just use an ink pad, stamp the, the stamp right there, and then apply the stamp onto the box, which then looks completely different and stand out, right? So I want you guys to be creative. A lot of the stuff that we teach, we've done ourselves and we've shown proof that it works. And other companies who tried the techniques we are using and doing has helped them. And always understand that it's not just what you give, but how you present it. So that's why we have to make sure that you have a good sales process. We have to make sure that you have a good presentation. We have to make sure that you're great at follow-up. We have to make sure that you're ready for any objections that a person might say, whether they say they don't have time to meet you. What can you do to improve yourself? And also, what can you do to improve what you're giving away? And so what we're doing here in this video series is to remove any of your objections of you thinking and saying, I don't want to start marketing because I have not perfected what I want to be able to hand out or give away. But always remember, whatever you give, these tchotchkes, these gift items, these treats, you should always accompany something else with it, and that is your educational-based marketing material so that you can show them why you are the company that they should start referring patients to. So I hope this video helped you guys out. This is Michael with Home Health Success Academy. Always know that home health marketing is always easy when you're ready and you know what you're doing.